Let's go ahead and begin implementing the functions that we need for our friendship functionality to work. So all these methods will be written in our friendable threads, which the user model is going to implement. So the first method obviously that we want to implement is the add friend, public function add friend. So our user model will be able to call this method. And what will be happening actually is we'll be using our friendable, using our app friendship model to interact with our database eloquence. So what we are going to be doing is as soon as a request is made to add a friend, we're just going to create a new role in the database table, which is the friendships table in the database migrations right here. So we're going to create a new role in a database and we're going to pass in the requester, the ID of the user who wants to add a friend and the user requested. So the ID of the user who is being requested to be a friend and automatically the Boolean status is set to zero. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So first we have to create a new role in the database. But what I would like to do is actually receive a parameter right here. And this is going to be the ID of the user being requested. So user requested ID so that that's explicit. Now we're going to create a new friendship. So friendship create and this create is simply going to receive the requester and the requester is simply the, the user, the particular user who is calling this method. So this ID, because we are referring to the user model. So right in the, so the user who is implementing this will pass in the ID and the user requested is going to be the user requested ID. And that's all we need to create a friendship. Okay. So right now what we're going to do is just for some security, we'll say friendship is equals to this. And right here, we're going to check if that friendship exists. So if, friendship exists. So if the friendship exists in the database already, okay, so if it was successfully created, we'll just return a response. And this response is going to be a JSON of status code 200. And I'm just going to say here, okay. Okay, so this is the data that's going to be sent in the response. Or what we can actually do is return a response with a friendship however we want it. So why I'm using a response in this case is because most likely we are going to be using the add friend method in Vue.js because this application, we don't want a user to refresh the page every time he's adding a friend. So you should just be able to click on add friend and uh, it's just going to return a response. So it's going to make an Ajax request to our server, add a friend and send a response. Okay. So else if this fails, we're just going to return a response also. And this is going to be JSON. And this is going to be a failure. So we'll just call this fail. And we can just send whatever bad status request. So maybe a 501 to see we're not able to implement it. Okay. So the next method we actually want to implement is uh, accept friendship. Okay. So when you want to accept someone as your friend. So we'll say public, public function and we'll say accept friend. And this method, the first parameter we're going to take care of here is remember the requester. And remember, first of all, we are, we are adding a friend right here and the requester is the user this ID. So in this case, the person who is accepting the friendship is going to be this user. So the user who is calling the accept friend method. Okay. So requester, is the ID of the user who sent the friend request in the first place. So first of all, what are we supposed to do in this accept friendship method? We're going to find the friendship in the database because there are going to be a lot of them. So we have to find the particular friendship where the ID of the requester is this one and where the user requested is the, is the ID of the user who is calling this particular method. So let's implement that. So we're going to, we're going to say friendship equals friendship where, where the requester, which is the ID of the user who sent the friendship request in the first place. And we will make sure that it's equal to the requester ID that we received as a parameter. And we'll also make sure 
that the next that the ID of the user being requested is the ID of the user who's calling this method. So we also add an, another where clause, and this is going to be user requested, and this should be equals to this ID, meaning a user call that accept friendship. So we're going to find this friendship, and we're going to get the first results so that we have an instance of friendship. So the first results we get then we're going to stick to that. Okay, so we accept a friend by receiving a request ID, which is the ID of the user who sent the request in the first place. And as soon as we receive this ID, we'll search in our database on the friendships table, where the requester, who is the person who sent the friendship request is exactly equals to this person. And we'll also check where the user requested is the ID of the person who is calling this method, and we'll get the first result. Okay, now the next thing, if we found a friendship as such, so if we found a friendship as such, what we're just going to do is update that friendship. So we'll say friendship, update, and what we're going to update is the status table. So the status column. So the status of this column is going to be set to 1. So we're just going to toggle it. So any status with zero is unaccepted and the status with one means the friendship has been accepted. So as soon as we update that, we'll just return a response and this is going to be a JSON and uh, with the 200 status means we succeeded and uh, we can just send a message. Okay. Just so we check to make sure that this response was succeeded and there uh, else we just return a bad request. So Jason, and uh, maybe we can just say 501, we weren't able to complete the request for some reason. And we'll just say fail, which is what we are going to be checking in our database. And right here, we have a comma. 